Hi, this is Crazy Daddy again, and today we are going to discuss what we can do with some excess power. So the solar system I have set up has been creating more power than I need, and my power utility company allows me to roll over the power for a few months, but if I do not use it within a certain amount of time, it is forfeited. So here's an idea of what I can do with the excess power. Bitcoin mining. Now I'm not going to tell you how to set it up because there's many videos out there and if you do want a link for a video my son created, it's going to be in the link below. You want to go on a video with me, right? Just tell me your appearance. Typically, many people turn on their miners in the winter months because not only can it generate uh, some crypto for them, it also can generate some heat to uh, warm their homes. So if you're going to use the heat to warm your homes, then it is a better time to mine. But if you're not going to, such as myself, April to November are typically more profitable mines because others uh, turn off their machines and therefore uh, there are fewer miners out there. Number two, there is a heat issue. You will need to be able to disperse the heat and open areas such as how I have set it up uh, reduces this issue but if you are planning to put your miner in your home be very aware of it. 3. Power network issues. Plan on about a thousand watts of consumption per miner. If you run a 220 uh, volt system in your home that is approximately 5 amps of power. If it's a 110 uh, volt system that's almost 10 amps of power per plug point. So I would recommend no more than one unit per uh, normal power point. Uh, know how much your power costs versus environmental issues and the actual amount of crypto generated. For me, my power is free because I generate excess. Uh, that takes care of my, my environmental concerns. But if uh, quite often in many places of the world, power costs more than what uh, crypto you generate. So it's just not worth it. So be sure to investigate that. And finally, make sure you have a strong network connection. For me, the biggest issue is the noise. Uh, the machine is noisy, very noisy. Good soundproofing is vital, and it is still loud, to be honest, but it can be reduced significantly uh, through a bit of innovative uh, soundproofing. In my case, my son and I built a soundproof uh, and heat uh, management system uh, with the ice cooler. Now, Power aside, I also have to make sure there's a good uh, network connection. Here I have an extender out here and uh, the extender is connected to the Bitcoin mining system. The heat issue can be effectively, uh, it take, putting it in a device like this that also takes care of the sound can also take care of the heat. Because once this is covered, the fresh air is sucked in here and it, there's a bit of a vacuum situation created in here and it actually sucks out all the air and heat from here out. So the heat is easily handled. Finally, for me, the biggest issue is actually the noise generated. And for that, I actually have, uh, this is an ice cooler in here. The sound actually comes mainly from the fans. Okay. So I've got both these machines running, there's uh, normal tubing out, there's hot air coming out from both of these areas, by its handle, the hot air is coming out, but you can see it's quite noisy. So first thing is, before I close it off, I reduce a bit of the noise by putting the eggshell pattern in it, and I'm going to close it. obviously a drop in the noise level once I put this on so here we go this is now using up additional power it uh, right now from my uh, nice hash uh, reading it seems to be generating approximately eight US dollars per day hope you found this video useful please like and subscribe thank you